It's no surprise that Samsung's Exynos chipsets have been inferior to its Snapdragon counterpart for years. It heats up too quickly and that causes it to throttle, which affects the performance. It also consumes a lot of power, which makes the battery life inferior to the Snapdragon variants. And the GPU is also significantly inferior to Qualcomm's Adreno GPU. Now, Samsung was supposed to fix all of these issues on next year's Exynos 1000 by ditching its custom Mongoose cores in favor of ARM's Cortex-X1 and Cortex-A78 for the CPU. And for the GPU, Samsung partnered with AMD last year to bring much better GPU performance to Exynos-powered Samsung devices. But according to the recent information from famous tipster Ice Universe, the AMD GPU is not going to make it to the Exynos 1000 that's going to power the Galaxy S21. I know, we all had high hopes for the Exynos 1000 and hoped it'll at least perform as good as the Snapdragon 875, but that might not be the case. According to Ice Universe, the Snapdragon 875 will still outperform the Exynos 1000 in both CPU and GPU, but it's not going to be that big of a difference compared to previous Exynos and Snapdragon devices. And the biggest improvement on the Exynos 1000 will be the battery performance. But that doesn't mean the actual performance will be bad. In fact, it's going to be really good. Because the major issues with previous Exynos chipsets was the custom Mongoose cores. They were power-hungry cores that produced a lot of heat and made the chipset to throttle, thereby reducing both CPU and GPU performance. And that's why previous Samsung Samsung Exynos devices were terrible for gaming and other graphics intensive tasks. By using ARM's custom cores like Huawei does, the processor is going to use less power, produce less heat and that's going to make the whole chipset including the GPU work more efficiently. It'll also help to maintain higher frames while gaming. So not using AMD's GPU on the Exynos 1000 is not a total loss. It's going to use ARM's Mali G78, which is going to be quite powerful and the difference in performance against the Adreno 660 will be too little to complain about. In other news, we have information on the price of the Galaxy Z Fold 2. According to Roland Quant, the Z Fold 2 will be 100 euros cheaper than the original Galaxy Fold. The launch price of the Galaxy Fold was 2100 euros in Germany, while the Z Fold 2 will have a starting price of 2000 euros. So we can expect a similar price reduction in the rest of the world. Let me know what you think about the Exynos 1000 not using AMD's GPU in the comment section below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future video. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.